of Paper Birds and Beyond, my name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at all the Jeffree Star Velvet Trap lipsticks. Um, I know that they have been on the market for a while now, but since, you know, I'm Jess and I'm late to the party. I just wanted to review these six in specific just because I know that when I first started, um, ordering the lipsticks I wanted to, to try and see what they would look like in my skin tone and I could never find any videos on YouTube um, of what they they look like like yeah there's a picture there on the on the on the Jeffree Star website but it's just not the same so um, I just wanted to try it out in case y'all were wondering the same so today I did like a little different eyeshadow look I normally don't do these colors but as I'm looking right now at the camera, I have to say I really like the the, the colors that I did pick out. The um, palette that I used was the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. Um, when I first got it, to be honest, I wasn't really sure of these colors, but it grew on me. So I really like it and um, and I really like the, the eyeshadow look. Also, the lipstick that I'm wearing is uh, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. It's the shade Be Brave. So I'll link everything down on the description just so you'll know. But without further ado, we're going to get started on the Velvet Trap lipstick. So, And here go my lips. So the first color I'm going to start with is I'm Daddy. The I'm um, Daddy is described as a dirty mauvey brown color. I really like this color. When I first tried it on, I was like, wow, okay. I could dig I'm um, Daddy. So we're gonna try it on. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm um, Daddy looks like. So I really like these lipsticks. I have worn these in the past when I've gone out and they do last. I mean, they're not gonna last if you go out and eat a burger, right? And it's all greasy, but they do last and, um, and there really are like a variety of colors that you can try. And they're really, really cool. I feel like it's a nice neutral, like nude color. And I feel like this color should be in anybody's um, lipstick collection. As you can see so moving on so next is top eight the top eight is described as a nude rose color I think it's super cute it this is a bad application <laughs> but this is what top eight looks like um, I really like this color I think that it's a really nice shade of pink rose you want to call it but I, I think it's it's really nice I dig it and um, yeah I mean I typically go for like the most vibrant colors and this this is just a nice little shade of, ro of pink and I really like it I really do also I really love this it's like a little bullet Okay, so next is one of my favorite colors. It's Pink Religion. It's like a neon fuchsia. This right here. This right here, okay. I love this color so much. This is what Pink Religion looks like. I absolutely love this color. I love bright, like weird colors. And this is this is one of my favorites. It really is. Personally, I really love bright pink colors or bright colors in general. I love trying out new, like random goofy colors. So you should try it out. You should really try it out. I don't even want to take it off. Like, <laughs> I don't even want to take it off. <laughs> but moving on. Okay, so next we're gonna go with Major Attitude. Major Attitude is described as a perfect berry. And let me tell you, it really is. It is a perfect berry. I love this color. I love maroon in general. 
after pink, it has to be one of my favorite colors. This is Major Attitude. I absolutely love this color. It is amazing. <laughs> so next we have Drill Sergeant. Drill Sergeant is described as a gray, like sultry gray color. I normally wouldn't go for this just because it's gray, but I did I did go for it and I really liked it. Of course, I wouldn't recommend putting on a red lipstick before this one because these are gonna stain, but this is what Drill Sergeant looks like. I, I would normally just wear this maybe like to a funeral. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know where I would wear it, but I mean, I've worn it to like eat before because I was wearing all black and I felt like being emo for the day. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Oh my God. Okay, next we have the perfect red. Y'all, I've had this, this lipstick is cursed. You know why? I've ordered three lipsticks, three the perfect reds and they've all broken on me. This one is broken, so that's why I can't like open it fully, but I just don't wanna order anymore because they've all broken and, and it's not like I go all the way up or anything, but as soon as I open it and I'm like, yay, this one's not broken, it's broken and I jinx it, I just jinx it. But this is the perfect red and I love this color. I really do and I wish that they wouldn't break on me, but. I hope it doesn't break on me right now. Okay, I was really careful with this. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to order another one. Like this is, this is, this is, this is, the, that's, that's just what it is. Okay, so this is the perfect red. And it is a perfect red. I really love this color. I really want to wear it, but I can't put it on right because it's all broken. <laughs> okay, and last but certainly not least, we have Blood of My Enemies. Blood of My Enemies is described like as a dark cranberry color. I really do love this color. It's super like super elegant. I would totally wear this if I would go to like somewhere elegant. I don't know. You really do have to be careful with how you put this one on, but it's a bad application, but this is what Blood of My Enemies looks like. My lips are on fire. My lips hurt, but we're done. Why do you keep meowing? I'm trying to make a video. Okay, Kiki, why do you look so depressed? I love you so much. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Yeah. Wanna say hi? I love you so much. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. Say bye. Say bye. Okay, so we're finally done. All right, cool. My lips hurt, okay. I did have more Velvet Trap lipsticks, but I think I gave them to my mom um, because I didn't like them. I know that I gave her Kumquat, but because she really liked the color. I really liked the color, but I was like, mama, I got you. So, yeah. Kiki, my cat opens doors now. So anyway, that has been my Velvet Trap reviews. I really do like these colors. They are really nice. They're really creamy. Um, there's not really much I can say, except I want another perfect red that's not broken. 
But other than that, I mean, this is one of my favorite colors. I don't know, I don't really have much to say other than they are really like gentle, they're really soft and creamy, they glide around like across your lips like they're supposed to. And yeah, I mean, I would recommend buying them just because it, it is a good product to own. And I do love the design, so <laughs> that's that. And they are magnetic. So, so yeah, this has been my Jeffree Star Velvet Trap lipstick review. I hope that you did enjoy the review. I know I did. I love making these um, reviews for y'all just so you can see what they look like on um, like different tones of skin. Keggy, I'm trying to film. And <laughs> I know that when I was first starting out trying to see what colors I could get, I couldn't find any of these in specific and it was very hard for me to like decide if I really did want to um, buy them or not just because of that because it, it, I know that it is really hard um, you don't want to spend like 20 bucks plus shipping on something that you know you may not like so but anyways I know that this video is going to be up on Wednesday so Big Mac Wednesday so yeah, I hope that you did enjoy watching this video and please, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, you know, that button right there, that right there. So yeah, this is me signing out and I'll see you next time. Bye.